Well, now let's take a look at some water rights surrounding this source water that we've been talking about. First, we have the riparian doctrine. The riparian doctrine is followed in the eastern states due to the abundance of water. Then there's the prior appropriation doctrine, which is followed in the western states with limited water resources. We're going to look at these different doctrines uh, in more detail. Under the riparian doctrine, all landowners whose property touches a water supply have equal rights to the water. A reasonable and beneficial use is allowed as long as it doesn't interfere with the rights of downstream users. And the riparian doctrine is also known as the rule of reasonable sharing. So anybody who has property that touches the water can use the water for a beneficial use and they can do that as long as they're not interfering with the rights of downstream users. So riparian is synonymous with the rule of reasonable sharing. Now the prior appropriation doctrine, like I said earlier, is followed in western states with limited water resources. And this concept began during the gold rush of 1849 in California. It's known as the first in time, first in right doctrine. And priority is given to whoever was there first. So priority is given to the longest user of the water source. The water must be used for a beneficial use under this prior appropriation doctrine. Now groundwater is different. There are several different uh, doctrines that govern the use of groundwater. There's the absolute ownership, there's reasonable use, there's correlative rights, and then there's the appropriation permit systems. Well, let's look at each of these. Under absolute ownership, the landowner owns everything beneath the land down to the center of the earth. The rule of capture allows the landowner to use all the water he is capable of capturing from below his land surface. And it can be used for any purpose or even sold. And there's no liability for lowering the water table under the absolute ownership doctrine. Next is the reasonable use doctrine. Under this doctrine, the landowner has the right to pump water from beneath the land that he owns. If the pumping interferes with a neighbor's use, the pumping can continue only for a beneficial purpose. So the landowner cannot pump for a non-beneficial purpose if it's impacting his neighbor's aquifer. Now, non-wasteful use is considered a beneficial use. So anything that's not considered waste is considered beneficial. Under the correlative rights doctrine, all landowners overlying an aquifer have rights to the water below the surface of the ground. And the water rights are granted in proportion to the amount of land area overlying the aquifer. So here, the aquifer or the water within the aquifer is divided amongst the landowners that overlay the aquifer in proportion to the amount of land they own. And this rule is used when the aquifer is insufficient for the needs of all overlying landowners. And then there's the appropriation permit systems. And uh, these systems are based on the rule of priority, or the longest or the oldest user has priority. And permits are granted to withdraw from the aquifer. And the number of permits are limited to prevent overdraft of the aquifer. This system requires an administrative body to regulate groundwater withdrawal. 